What's going on my fellow residents? It's me the Frozen Cavern and I did not mean to press the button. <laughs> I pressed that button on accident, but uh, today we're going to continue through our blind journey through Super Mario Odyssey. In the last episode, we went through Bowser's Kingdom and took care of all the brutals and ooh, we got ourselves a nice white tux even though I was dressed in a black tux already, but whatever. But in this episode, we're going to be heading over to the moon <laughs> to defeat Bowser. But yeah, I was not trying to press the button there. Now, something you guys more than likely won't actually realize between, uh, like, this recording and the, the, not recording, this video and the last video, is that they were both recorded in the same session, but Cappy won't let you leave if you, uh, have to go to the moon, which is irritating, because the only way that you can save, to my knowledge, is by going to the menu when you're inside of a world. You can't save on the main menu or anything like that. So, yay, I have to record both of those at the same time. So I'm assuming he just had this whole just place built just to have a wedding here. So that's surprising. We'll soon must be over there. No time to dilly dally. Let's go. That we shall now. Oh goodness. There's and we have like little star bits or whatever these things actually are. And <laughs> I forgot moon physics. <laughs> moon physics exist. This is. <laughs> My goodness. And I'm assuming that fall damage is like, well, technically we don't have fall damage to begin with, but... Okay, there's a lot more of these things, so I'm assuming all of these were like moon fragments? Not really fragments, I guess stuff that was just in the moon that landed on the, uh, Earth. So basically, they're like comets, basically. Well, not comets from Super Mario Galaxy. <laughs> Let me rephrase that. Comets as in, like, things... Well, asteroids. That's what it actually is. Asteroids that just land on Earth. Get over here. We've done this in Galaxy before. Get over here. And 64, actually. I think the only game that didn't have something like this with a rabbit was uh, Sunshine. Even with, like, the super gravity... Well, like, zero gravity, this is so much harder. Why are you sweating? You're jumping! <laughs> it doesn't even require that much effort. I'm getting this rabbit. There we go. Alright, got you. Alright, and I see the... Phone. It's not important either. Anyways, I see the uh, 2D area over there, but I'm all the way over here, so that's not gonna matter. I also see the floating octopus thing. Okay. I'm going to assume that was created <laughs> rather than it actually just exists on the moon. I also wish that I could kind of go past this. There we go. But yeah, I'm just going to assume this thing was rather made by Bowser rather than just randomly another alien species that's just out there. But you never know. Especially since there's apparently a dragon in Mario. Canonically, there's a giant realistic looking dragon in Mario. When have you ever thought you would say that in your life? <laughs> Canonically, there is a giant, um, like, dragon in Dinosaur. Well, that in Dinosaur. There's a giant dragon, and dinosaur technically, in Super Mario. And that was actually really dumb. I could have done that better. 12 seconds later. And jump. I didn't see that there were the uh, flowers here before. If I can somehow get enough money, I will try my best to just wear the boxer shorts to the final fight. So hopefully I can do that, but for right now, it's not looking like that will be possible. It looks like it's going to be around the same number that I had last time in the last episode. Thankfully, that wasn't actually the final boss, so... I didn't have to worry too much about that then, but now that we are reaching the end, uh, it's actually looking a little bit worse of a chance than last time. I would, I just hope it's not going to be like one coin off or something like that. Like that would actually be like the worst to have happen. Okay, land on top of you. There we go. I like how it's also a little bit delayed for the ground pound. Speaking of which, how would you even ground pound, like, in space? Well, technically, you're able to do it on Earth, too, so I shouldn't be able to question that. Okay, so apparently the Sphinx is just over here. Obviously, this area is like a collection between all the other areas in the game. 
Uh, greetings, traveler, and uh, another real. Uh, wait, should you really be answering questions right now? <laughs> I mean, no, but still, I'm gonna answer anyways. Should you really be answering? Well. Okay, no, I shouldn't be. Do what you must, I am done. So that, that gave me nothing. Am I able to... That was pointless, so I guess we have to come back to you after we take care of Bowser. Watch out, the hole back there is real deep. Okay, this is definitely a change. <laughs> we went from nothing but white, now we're just surrounded by orange and red. <laughs> this is so different. Wait, uh, this takes us back. Alright, and we also have regular gravity now. Weird, the gravity feels normal here. Well, I mean, we are, like, inside of... Oh, are we able to take care of... Well, not take care. Well, uh, be in control of the dry bones. Oh, this is basically the same thing as the, uh, flying Goombas that we had before. Uh, what episode was that? Eh, it's not like it matters too much anyways. And also, I'm pretty sure we don't actually need to take control of the tanks, but... I mean, we could. It was, do we really need to? Probably not. I'm just gonna make things relatively easier for us. Uh, oh, do we need the tank in order to get that? Uh, uh okay, whatever. Uh, get over here. Am I able to? Ow. Okay, it levitates me up a little bit. Go. Cool. And I guess I do need to take control of the tank just to get through here. There we go. And I also see a key here. That's weird. That's the first key we've well, key, like, step thing that we've seen the entire game. So I'm trying to figure out what to actually do with that. Obviously, we need to get a key, but... I don't know where we're supposed to find said key. Alright, so what does this area have for us? There's a lot of breakable stuff. Okay, that's a bullet bill. A giant, giant bullet bill. <laughs> that was very, very sudden. Thankfully, I managed to react in time. Break through there. It's giving us plenty of time to do this. Granted, I didn't really go off track at all. But that giant bullet bill was definitely a surprise that I didn't see coming. Oh, okay. Obviously, we put these on, but... Let me test this out. Oh, so you don't have to have the shades on. You can just walk. Oh, no. Hey, is this thing? We haven't seen you all game, I think. <laughs> Oh, wait, I could have tried to take in control of you, but... Oh, wait, you reappear. Okay. Actually, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna need you... It's too easy to kill this thing. Okay, let's just do this. There we go. But, uh, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna need you to get past all of those, but... There we go. I don't think I really need to do anything with these. It doesn't look like it, but... No harm in trying. Yeah, there doesn't seem to be anything. Go! And unfortunately, he can't jump, so now he's useless. Uh, Okay, so either that way, or... Oh, well, we need to go this way first, and then we can go the other way. And now we shall charge. It's actually kind of crazy how ridiculously strong these things are. To be honest, they've always been a pain to us, but now we're able to use that power for ourselves. Oh, you're alive. Okay. Surprisingly enough, you are. Do you remember me? Yes, I do. You were ever so rude to me back in the Cascade Kingdom. In fact, you were quite rude to all my darling brood. Oh, they're your kids. <laughs> Which is why we're all here now. Now, I do believe it's lunchtime for my new powered, newly powered up giant chompakins. Okay, that would explain a little bit. Only a little bit, but, uh, there we go. And now we do literally the same thing as we did last time, except you start off trying to hit us. Alright. So, I'm gonna throw it, well, it now. There we go. 
You're gonna swipe three times, probably. Maybe four. Or not. Weird. You... It would have made more sense for her to swipe three times, considering she only did it twice the first time. But now we're here. There might be a second phase to this, actually. Or just a lot more hats. Now it's one, two, and three. All right. All right. Now that you're out of the way, let's head over into wherever this is. Okay, back outside again. Hopefully there's some health around here because I deeply need it. Ever after hill. Yeah, yeah, I'm going. Shut up, Cappy. <laughs> I'm also trying to imagine that there's a shop around here. <laughs> I'm still trying to make sure I can get the boxer shorts at the end of the game. That's what I want. Eventually. So, like, I found this frog. This one frog here. I don't know why the one frog exists, but well, sure. It's just a single lone frog here in the entire game. Well, not in the entire game. In the entire area. Which makes sense because frogs shouldn't be on the moon. Alright, we're gonna go in through here. See if anything actually changes. Oh, well, hmm. Obviously, we're supposed to be in here through there, but, uh, <laughs> I don't care. We're gonna go through here. Wait, why is my shadow for the... Yeah, my shadow for, like, the dust is underneath there. That doesn't make sense. That's odd. Whatever. Set on down. Crashing the wedding, Mario? That's tacky, even for you. Also, your outfit isn't halfway fancy enough for the occasion. Not that it matters since you weren't invited. So now it's time for you to make like a bouquet and get thrown out. Alright, let's go. A nice job doing immediately what you did in the last fight. You're dropping quite a bit faster though. And everything from last time is starting up, but it's just like 10 times faster. Oh, you have a fire uh, thing this time. But yeah, I know what your trick is now. <laughs> You're not fooling me this time. Okay, this is a new one though. I'm surprised I'm able to just jump over that, but... Sure. Alright, throw your hat again. There we go. But now you're just gonna jump a few times. Oh, those are flaming turtle... whatever those are. There we go. Oh no, it's two. I'm surprised I dodged that though. Alright, so next time it's probably three. <laughs> Considering that I have to dodge every single one in order to actually get anywhere. Oh, goodness. Wait, you can literally just jump any way you want to. Which, I mean, is not that big of an issue. But at the same time, it makes this attack way less threatening. When I can just get engulfed in the flames and not get hit. Okay, this is a lot of hats. Ow. None of which were the ones I actually wanted to get. Okay, this starts off a little bit sooner, I think. Or it's always on the last one. Okay, there we go. 
All right, let's go. That's one, two, uh, whatever. <laughs> sure, I'll take the hitbox. Oh, no. All right. There we go. Weird how the insi entire suit just went away, but whatever. Okay, let's try for the second time to get over to these two. Or three, technically, since TR is over here. Uh, I've seen a lot of drawings that you can... of these two combined, so... Apparently, <laughs> you can just go into Bowser's body. And all the previous games. Nice. And it automatically gives me the extra thing. Uh, come on, let's go. Bowser's gonna be upset <laughs> if he ever finds out that we do this, but whatever. Shake them both to breathe fire. By the way, Bowser's like ridiculously strong, but let's just get out of here. We're, we're not gonna worry too much about trying to uh, worry about everything else. Ow, I didn't see what hit me, but we just have to run through literally everything. And hope that everything will be alright. And everything should hopefully be alright, as long as I'm going the right ways. Come on, break. Phone! I will murder you! There we go, gotta go, real quick. Uh, okay, I guess we actually have to get out at some point. Or not. Okay, don't know how that works, but sure. He'll just fit through the pipe. I mean, he has done that before, though, so I shouldn't be surprised by that. They are not giving you much room for error, either. Well, maybe it's just only when you get to, like, a certain section. That might make a little bit more sense. Come on, break the break the shining wall of whatever material this is. By the way, this is also a really interesting Mario song. <laughs> I don't know. And there's also lyrics. Okay. Which probably means I have to talk over it. But, you know, Nintendo games anyways. So, not gonna matter too much. Uh, what am I supposed to do with this? I guess we just head to the outside. Well, I mean, that's the outside there, but... Alright, get over to this. I'm gonna have to listen to this song later. Oh, we just break the pillars and therefore it'll cause that to fall. Get some early hits in. Because the platforms are still falling. I'm surprised that didn't hit me, by the way. Hopefully my aim is actually working. Uh, and one more. Thankfully I walked... Okay, of course. I say I walked across here the less... Well, the least. And uh, <laughs> some more platforms just decided to fall down. Alright, there we go. But now we have to get up there. Come on, destroy this. And there's this stupid crate thing that we couldn't get rid of the entire rest of the game. I'm surprised this is how this works. But whatever. Come on, go.
Okay. At least they both are remorsing over it. Okay, so like, I know that Bowser is bad, but you... He doesn't deserve to get stranded on the moon now. Come on. That's kind of that's kind of mean. And also the fact that there was an option between those two? No, Peach Mario has been saving you for how many years? <laughs> and you're not going to choose him? <laughs> like that should be pretty fairly obvious. I mean, it's understandably he would be desperate. Like just as desperate as Bowser. Both of them have been trying for years. And Mario's been saving you, therefore he should automatically get the boost up. But, just neither of them. And you almost left them both stranded, by the way. But, we're gonna ignore that. Alright, time for game review, and hopefully credits don't take the... Well, they can take long, they cannot take long, it just depends on how much I have to talk about. Now, least favorite world, let's get that out the... Well, area, I keep saying world. <laughs> least favorite area right out the way. Probably Seaside World, to be honest. Like, aesthetically, it wasn't all that interesting, and then... I don't know, Seaside World was really just boring until after I actually beat it, where I'm just like, you know... This would be a nice place to just chill. I would be fine chilling here. Now, for my favorite world, it would probably have to be the Cascade Kingdom, to be honest, which is really surprising, but... It's just the first area, and then... I mean, that could also change, depending on, like... Uh, post-game stuff and like me going through all the other like power moon missions and junk like that but for right now seaside kingdom is my least favorite and cascade kingdom is my favorite because we did like nothing with the cap kingdom aside from just arrive there and then leave and then we did nothing after that now in terms of like music i need to listen to the music outside of the game because I know that if I try to listen to the music beforehand, I might get spoiled on stuff. And yeah, I don't want to get spoiled on anything. So <laughs> let's, I'm going to have to uh, go to the music later. But in terms of like best looking worlds, like I said, the, uh, what was the kingdom called? <laughs> we were there for like five minutes, so I don't exactly remember what it was called. Uh, Ruin Kingdom, that's what it was. Ruin Kingdom looked really interesting, but... I just want that dragon to be around, dude. That dragon was there for five minutes and then it was just gone. That's, it's upsetting, but I have to deal with it. But the whole thing with the uh, Cappy allowed for a lot of like different creative things to actually happen. Like, and it, it took me some time to actually get used to being able to do such things, but being able to use your enemy's power for your own and actually use it to progress through the areas. Just really smart. And the credits apparently weren't that long. Thanks for playing. You are welcome, Nintendo. Issue is, I'm not going to get much money from this. <laughs> okay, so now it looks like all those things we can actually interact with. Nintendo is... yeah, I still have to have that in there. You can now travel to the Mushroom Kingdom. Oh! Okay, additional power moons are in stock at the shop, so we can just buy more? Okay, music list. And that seems like that's it. Okay, we're in the Mushroom Kingdom now. Oh, this looks almost exactly like the Super Mario 64 Mushroom Kingdom too. Aside from, like, the fountain there. But now we just have so calm, so peaceful, like our trip to the Moon Kingdom was all a dream.
But it wasn't. But good thing it wasn't, <laughs> because we saved our two dear friends. That nightmare is over. But I've liked our travels so much, I don't want our journey to end. I mean, there's still so much to do, so many hats you need to meet. And I bet if we collect even more power moons, we'll be able to travel somewhere new. So our trip is far from over. One more hurrah, I say. But for starters, let's head up to Peach's castle. But I mean, technically I've beaten the game already, so I don't really have to do anything. I'll see if I can do anything else in live streams, but everything else that I do will pretty much be off screen. So, man, this has been Super Mario Odyssey. I didn't think that the game would take as long as it did. Well, technically it was relatively short, but uh, what part is this? 11. Okay, so I was assuming that would be part like 12, but eh, it's fine regardless. But this has been Super Mario Odyssey. Thank you all for watching. But until the next video, and I didn't mean to do that, stupid motion controls. But until the next video, take care.